it can be a fine line between appreciation and attachment. And as with all lines in the sand, it's easy to slip past the line into the side we hope to avoid. The deciding factor, craving, desire. Like missing something when it's absent. Say the morning triple shot latte we had during that rush project. Or like wanting something not to end. Say an evening spent listening to our favorite music at a concert. Think of attachments as failures to accord with the current situation. They become unfulfilled wishes, which is the seventh of the eight sufferings. And they are very difficult to detect because it's such a fine line between them and sincere appreciation. But since attachments lead to suffering, we have to detect them. And so we need to observe our thoughts. When we fix our morning coffee, do thoughts of lattes arise? Does our usual simple cup now seem less satisfactory? Do we start checking prices online for that Nespresso machine everyone's talking about? If so, we've slipped over that line. Amitofo.